Ow. God, you got to admit I got that slickest move, man, the turn neck. Hello, everyone. I got to get one. Uh, hold on a minute, man. That's the only bad thing, you know, trying to get this thing in focus there. I think I'm in focus. And then you got to hope you got it, man. You know? A lot of these videos I do, I don't rehearse, man, really. What I do now, I got to make sure I got the lights shut off, TV shut off, radio, anything going, you know, background noise. Got to have the proper lighting. And I should have something to talk about, man, you know. But if you've seen my last video, this is just water anyway. If you've seen my last video, I, <laughs> I cannot believe this should actually happen, man. It's so sad in a way, it's funny, man. But the town was out, and I swear to God, we didn't have over a quarter inch of snow on the roads out here. They won't come out in a maid, like in a blizzard for days afterwards, or the budget's short or something. But they'll come out for a damn quarter inch of snow, man. I mean, <laughs> I know why they do it. They got to burn up this year's money, otherwise they won't get that amount back next year, however that works, you know. You know, they get penalized, actually. They could be saving the country money, less tax dollars, but then the government wouldn't give them that tax dollars, man, if they don't spend it, man. They got to have so much of that money gone or whatever, they got to use it, you know. And if they save it, and if they don't use it and save it for the next year, then they get only so much, and if they, you know, I can't figure that shit out. Anyway, save the bucks if you can. What the hell, you know? If everybody started saving when they could, you know, right there. I mean, that's my freaking property tax money they're spending, man. This is actually my money out of my pocket, man. You know, I got to pay taxes on this place, you know. Ain't that much, you know. I ain't got a nice house and everything. You know, we're probably nicer on the inside than most people. Outside looks like complete trash, though, man. But it's pretty nice. But anyway... What the hell was, oh yeah, about this quarter, all that for a quarter inch of snow, man, you know. So I just thought you should, if you've seen the last one, man, you might want to, I'm still thinking about that, you know. I just can't get over it. Why they don't, <laughs> yeah, it's nuts, so man, about, but this is my new series I'm working on. So for you that have been following me from the beginning, you know I started on this thing about six months ago or whatever, Ben, you know, maybe seven. And I'm pretty green at it. <laughs> and I'm the only one here. I got to make the, take the video, upload it, all that crap, you know. And I got to think about what to say, man. I thought I was going to be the cameraman, you know. And that's all I was supposed to do. That's where I belong, man. And I, but I kind of like it on this side now, you know. It's kind of like what I maybe always wanted to be and didn't want to ever tell myself that. But anyway, I mean, for those who have followed me through, you've got to watch a couple, three of them, man, and catch the whole thing, actually, to understand this. You know, and for those who started watching me at the beginning and followed all my... I told you we were going to take an adventure, man. I said, this is going to be adventure, man. This is going to be fun, man. We're going to get through this shit in life together. And, you know, maybe I don't have a big viewing audience. Maybe I don't even give a... If, even if I have one or two people, I don't care, man. You know, that's at least somebody's out there watching me, you know. I don't have a big audience. I am got suspended by YouTube, man. <laughs> hey, they could kick me off the air if they wanted to, you know. So, I mean, I, it's my fault I screwed up, man. I know what I did wrong, and I'm just waiting my time out. But, <laughs> but anyway, you didn't really think I was going to get by today without talking a little bit more about gun control, man. You know? I am. Remember, I thought we had this all worked out, man. After Kennedy was shot, Lee Harvey Oswald bought that 6.75 Italian fucking 1995 through a mail order catalog. After he did that to the president, man, then we switched it. You couldn't buy a gun out of a mail order, just any old magazine, you know. You couldn't do it. 
I mean, that's regulations. It's not, they're not going to take our guns away. God, I hate that when people say that. They're not going to take our guns away. What the hell, man? And half of that Second Amendment, they don't even know what it's, they don't even know the words to it, you know? Or what they mean and shit. They just, oh, no, they're going to take my hand off this, my, take my gun out of my hand when my, when, pry my cold, dead finger off of it. What the fuck? Who are we afraid of, the fucking Canadian Army or the Mexican Army? Come on, man. The only reason we got a military is to go overseas and all that crap, you know? But anyway, I mean, we don't have it to defend ourselves from the Canadians or from the Mexicans because they're our neighbors, we're crying out loud, man. They're our closest allies. And we're supposed to be defending our nation against our closest ally? No, our closest ally ain't over the goddamn Middle East. Our closest ally is right next door. And why can't we get that through our heads, man? The Mexicans, just as much part, man, I don't give a shit what color their skin is or what, where they come from even, you know? But down there, that's all, that land belongs to both the Americans and the Mexicans, kind of anyway, you know? So let's do something about that, man. Let's make them citizens or let them pay taxes or whatever the hell they do, you know, but let's let them be one of us. What's wrong with that, man? I got no problem with that. The ones that are here now, if they got in here somehow or another, that ought to prove they want to be an American pretty bad. They, look at the shit they go through to be here, man. Christ sakes, if, if that ain't worthy enough, enough to become American citizens for the bullshit they got to go through to get here, then what the hell is, man? What the hell is, man? A bunch of paperwork, money thrown around, oh, I'm going to be a U.S. citizen, pay him to get in. Oh, okay, here's the Mexicans working his ass off to get enough money to get a truck to rent him to get him to the border where he's got to sneak under a fence and go through the brush and on the back of a truck, and then he might make it a few miles before he's caught and sent back and got to do it all over again. Who do you want here? That guy that really wants to be here? That other guy that bought his way here, you know? Just so he could bleed us out of what he wants. But anyway, <laughs> got kind of carried away there. But thank you guys for watching, man. It's been a, my year in review is coming up. I know I'm behind on that. I'm behind on everything, you know? But just bear with me, man. It's Like I say, it's been a hell of a ride so far. <laughs> thank you.